When it comes to optics, you can spend as little as $30 to literally several thousand dollars. And more often than not, you're going to get what you pay for. Now, I discovered right on about a year ago you know they were new to me and i know a lot of folks have not heard of them either i've had the opportunity now to review several of their optics you know starting at the entry level and working my way up and thus far i have been uh, really impressed with outstanding glass function durability um and the mount and i'll get back to that now i want to test their highest end optic the seven conqueror and see how it performs are they right on? Is right on one of the best kept secrets? Only one way to find out? Check it out. Okay, that was easy. And I, I still hate doing that. Nice. All right. Got it. There we got it. I'm Drew Case. Welcome to Beyond Seclusion, where I only give you my honest opinion, and it is what it is. And I tell you what, guys, I live by that. That's one of my favorite sayings. I'm going to have it tattooed across my chest. It is what it is. It says everything. Optic reviews are pretty kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. Check out the specs and tech, and let's get going. Now, as a reviewer, I choose not to bore the crap out of you with reading uh, to you. Thus, how and why I choose to do the specs and tech the way I do it's on there. All you got to do is hit pause. You should be able to find and read pretty much everything that you're wanting to know about whatever it is that I'm reviewing. And one thing I want to say right off the bat is I love this reticle. I'm not a fan of the super busy guys. I know we can get reticles that can pretty much do everything for us. Um, but for the shooting that I do and that most of us do, uh, you really don't need all that, at least in my opinion. Now, this reticle has just enough, I think, to get the job done and make precision shots out at distance you know, without distracting and, and being messy. Now, I would really prefer to have a small dot in the center of the crosshairs here. Now, without it at this magnification, in my opinion, it just throws me a little bit, and I feel the need for something right in the center, you know, for really small targets, like when I'm shooting at a dime size or quarter size target, having that dot in the middle, I would like that. Now, it's not a deal breaker, and many of you are not going to even notice or care. Hey, before I forget, today is Valentine's Day. I want to do a special call out to my beautiful wife. Happy Valentine's Day, baby. I wish I was with you. She's out of town doing some family stuff. Anyway, I hope it's an awesome day. And guys, do something nice for your wife. Make her feel special today. Now, I'm also using the Ride On by Contessa, the QD mount. Now, I've reviewed this before. It allows us to use potentially the same optic on several different guns, which we're going to to test. I'm going to swap this around between different guns. And now I'm going to start off with this on the PSA 300 Blackout that I'm reviewing. And I've already used this in several other reviews, including uh, my Springfield here. So it has been put to the test. several times already you can check out those videos too um, but in those videos i was not reviewing the optic and in this one i am yeah not quite in the bullseye 
But <laughs> down the other. Okay, so this is a windy day. I really but I did want to show you that's a 10 shot group with the full metal jacket. You know, it, you get rid of the two flyers, and that's that's really solid. I was really happy with that. And then this is the 110 Amax. You know, get rid of the flyer, same thing. We've got a group. Now, you know, the, the full metal jacket really did well. Uh, there we got it. Got it. Nice. All right. So at 500, we are 18. <laughs> We're 18 MOA. Um, you can't really tell. My windmills aren't moving, but there is ever so slight crosswind. Maybe, maybe one. Two miles an hour, it's hard to say though once we get out there over the pond and that's pushing it just a little bit to the right. Okay, let's go up there at 500 again. We're 18. Got it. I think that missed. Got it. Got it. That is, that's really pushing the limit, you know, on a 300 blackout, 500 yards. Okay, so I took the Conqueror 7 off of the 300 blackout and I put it on my Springfield ATC, which it has been on before. Now I did zero it and I reset those zeros for the 300 blackout. So what I'm gonna do now is, that's a 300 blackout, so it's gonna be off. We're gonna zero it on the 556, shoot it, make sure that you know it's sighted in, and then I'm gonna take it and we're gonna put it back on the 300 blackout and dial it back to zero and then make sure that it kept the zero there and then put it back on the ATC again and then maybe back on the blackout depending on where I'm at with the reviews. The point is, is I want to see if we can use this same optic between two different guns, very different calibers um, and, and have the advantage of having you know a really nice scope on two different okay, guns. I apologize for the wind, but uh, I wanted to get this done here. I've got it on, and I think I've got it zeroed in here. Let's see. Uh, let's see what we can get. I'm using my AAC, the 55 grain full metal jacket. Nice, right next to the bullseye. Nice. Oh, <laughs> sweet. All right, you got to check this out. Okay, so I just got it zeroed with the 556 five, after taking it off the 300 blackout. Uh, you know, we had to make a few adjustments here. Check out these groups. Okay, so I was zeroing in with the 300 blackout, and that was kind of the last group there. Came over here. Um, now I did take it off and I just put it on and did the zeroing for the 5.56 five, and that was the last four shots right there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take it back off. I'm gonna put it back on the 300 blackout, turn it back to zero where I had it zeroed for the 300 blackout and put a couple more targets up here and see what we can get. Okay, so with the 5.56, five, we're, eh, we're at five, 
and two. Got the 300 black out here. We're gonna put it right back on this in the exact same spot. I took a picture, I think we're, we're three slots in. And, and then I'm gonna dial this back to zero and see what we get. Okay, there we go, back to zero. Let's load it up and give it a go. Okay, the moment of truth. That would be awesome if I put it in the bullseye. Yeah, not quite in the bullseye. But then again, I didn't have the most tight of all groups. Let's see, that was the first shot cold bore. <laughs> that was that was right on the side of the bullseye, just like the others. That's awesome. And on the other side of the bullseye, that's I mean that's the same group. That's awesome, guys. That was a flyer. <laughs> I don't say this often, but you're going to shit yourself. So yeah, I put it back to zero. You saw me turn it. Now I'm going to put it back on this and turn it back to the five and the two. Double check on my video. Make sure I got that right. And we're going to try again. I do got to use my phone and double check. I, I can't remember if I had three or Good more. Thing I checked because I had four spaces and that would mess up our test. Okay. One, two, three, four. And we had this at five. And this at two. Okay, gotta double check my phone. And then we'll send some. Hey folks, are you enjoying this review? If you are, help support the channel. Hit that subscribe button. This helps more than just about anything. It's simple, quick, costs you nothing. Not a zip, zero, nothing. So hit that button. Keep the reviews coming. Now, if you have not visited my webpage, you should for many reasons, like my discount codes for some of the great companies, including ammo, guns, and gear. I have a list of the companies that I use the most and recommend. At the bottom of the page is a list of current discount codes ranging anywhere from 5 to 15% off anything in your cart. Now, you should be interested in my crazy, stupid deal subscription. Here are some of the deals that I found in the past. And when I find these, I now have the ability to share in an instant with everyone that subscribes. And I blast them out in an email as soon as I find them it costs you nothing unsubscribe at any time i have saved folks hundreds even thousands of dollars don't take my word read the comments it works it's awesome and it costs nothing if you follow my channel and you shop on Amazon, you can help support and keep the reviews coming by going on to Amazon through my link. Anything and everything you purchase by doing so helps support the channel. You can literally buy toilet paper through my link and it helps support the channel and the reviews. Simply save the link to your phone or your computer and shop as you always do. And check out my highly rated online courses. They come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. You got nothing to lose. Literally thousands have found them helpful. Read the reviews and see for yourself. Here and check out the cooking tips page. There are some awesome recipes on there. Good food and it can literally save you thousands of dollars a year. Thanks for your help. Couldn't do it without you. All right. Let's see. Hopefully this works just like the other one. Oh, that'd be awesome. That'd be so cool, guys. You know, it would uh, absolutely justify buying a really high-end optic if you could just switch it between multiple guns. <laughs> it wasn't smack dab in the bullseye, but it was right next to it. I love it. I love it. It's at uh, like 11 o'clock, maybe uh, just just a smidge from the bullseye. But, you know, that was a cold bore, and we're using range ammo, full metal jacket. Wow. 
Well, that was a total flinch. I even felt that one. Lost my grip on the bag. All right, you got to take a look at this. Okay, so we put it on the 5.56, five, and we got that group there. Then I switched it back over and put it on the 300 blackout, okay, putting it back to zero and zero. Then I took it off and put it back on the ATC and put it back at the five and the two, and that was what we got. Now, that's using range ammo, and if you look at what we've done, and then considering the wind and everything, that's actually pretty consistent with the groups. Um, you know, a couple of flyers there, but the rest is consistent with what we were getting with that out of that gun when it was originally on that gun. And that, that rocks for the 300 blackout. I mean, that was better than some of the other groups I was getting. And I don't know about you, but that was awesome. That was just exciting, guys. Now, that only leaves one thing left to do. It's that time. My torture test of big, heavy, high-end optics is a little bit different. I, I still hate doing that. But it is different than some of the light stuff, which I dropped from the second story up there. Now what I want to do is we'll test the IPX. Okay, we're going to water submerge it. Normally, I love doing my torture test. Um especially with cheaper optics. It always, it always breaks my heart and stresses me to do it to some of the high-end ones because it really sucks when they fail. Uh, yeah, this is that moment of truth, the part I hate. I don't mind when it's cheap optics, you know, but when it's something that's been working fantastic, um, it's just, you know, it is what it is, right? But it breaks your heart. Hey, so far, I think we're good. We're gonna have to let it dry out. Uh, I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing any breach. Uh, we won't know until we freeze it. Get it good and frozen. All right. Oh yeah, it's frozen. We will let this get thawed out and make sure that it passed. So some weather rolled in, but. It passed the torture test. So I've got it mounted back on, it's thawed out. Um, I've got it, It we left it where we took it off at the five and the two, so it's on the five, five, six. Let's just bang here at 300 and see if we're on target. Be off there a little bit oh wait sorry got uh got, forgot about the wind uh we got a strong crosswind here let's try that again nice there you go guys it is what it is. There you go, folks. It is what it is. You decide what you think. I absolutely love this. I love the idea of being able to take a high-end optic that costs some coin and use it on multiple guns. Um, that is something worth thinking about. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful. If so, help support the channel. Be sure and hit that subscribe button. It really does help the most. Uh, be sure and like and comment. Until next time, happy shooting. Educate our young people to shooting and gun safety. And every time we're on the range, all eyes are on us. We're ambassadors for the Second Amendment. So be a safe and responsible gun owner.